As I welcome you today to the Conference for Nursing and Midwifery Excellence in Betsy Cadwallader University Health Board, I'd like to place on record my thanks to all the nurses, midwives, health visitors and healthcare support workers who work in the Health Board. One of the things we're doing today is awarding Excellence Awards and I've been absolutely delighted to read over 120 nominations which came forward, all of which were an absolute joy to read. Now we will have winners today and I'd like to congratulate those winners for their fantastic success but I'd also like to thank all of those people who took the time and trouble to nominate those individuals because it means so much it means that our staff have been recognised for the fantastic job that they do day after day. So thank you again to all the nominees and also to the award winners. Uh, I nominated Maria Gilmore for the, for the award because she's one of our most caring and kind healthcare support workers in the department. She's had many compliments of patients for her kindness and her caring and her helpfulness. She helps the sister here with cleaning audits and ensures that alcohol gel is replaced um, and the sharps boxes are, are safe. She's also very keen on ensuring the health promotion is up to date so every month whatever health promotion it is for, for that month she ensures we have the leaflets and the posters on the walls and make sure patients receive that information. Well my colleague Joe Douglas and I nominated Liz Fletcher because we think she's an inspirational leader and an excellent role model. Um, her leadership style always ensures that her staff feel well supported and motivated to reach their potential and to provide a high standard of care at all times. Um, recently I think she's shown a big commitment to the organisation because she's been providing managerial and leadership support to two areas, the West and Central area. It's ensured that the staff have continued to feel well supported, that the staff, the children and the families have received a high standard of care and it, we described it in our nomination that she actually did step into the breach in doing that. From a personal point of view, both Jo and I have always valued and appreciated her support and her guidance, especially through difficult and challenging times. And we feel this nomination is well deserved and it's just one way that we can say thank you to her. I think one of the main reasons that I know this down was that she's um, very enthusiastic. She's moving up uh, to Dougherty Hospital. She's um, embraced uh, change. She's often worked in her own time to develop innovative new ideas. Um, and she's just so enthusiastic that, that it rubs off on all the other members of staff as well. Well, I nominated Dawn because when I first met Dawn, um, the first thing that came to my mind was this is someone who's providing a true quality service in our health board. She's an unsung hero doing inspirational work and she really, really deserves recognition for all her tireless work. I've worked with Sharon as a matron for a relatively short period of time, but during my time working alongside her, I have no I've noted that she is one of the most passionate sisters that I've ever worked alongside and had the privilege to work with. She is very patient orientated. She, she drives her ward and her staff to provide the best standards of care that any patient could ever ask for and she thoroughly deserves this award. I nominated Mary McGuinness because um, I was uh, put at uh, Penhall Stanley for placement on my uh, first year of nursing and it was really the support that she gave me during the year or during my time there and also the way she involved me with the patients, got me hands on with the practical side of things and also she went out of the way to help me and also changed my opinion of nursing so much that I've actually changed courses I've actually gone back to do adult nursing now instead of carrying on with learning disability has actually made me realise the way I want to go with uh, my nursing degree. I nominated Sean Williams, uh, Ward Manager and Tally Essing Ward on the team due to the recent inspirational work that they've done launching Safe Wards on Tally Essing Ward. Uh, the launch has been since about February this year. We have noticed a reduction in aggressive incidents and we have noticed a reduction in restricted physical intervention and the use of seclusion. I would just like to say thank you to the team for all the hard work and effort. Well, Rachel has done extremely well for herself. She started off as a um, healthcare assistant with us on one of our surgical wards and asked to do her nurse training, received the bursary for that 
and um, she's sort of shone from that moment really. She's um, an outstanding person as well as an outstanding nurse. Her work ethic is extremely good um, and you know she, she, she wants to help people, even new staff coming on the ward, doctors, nurses, she wants to you know improve their knowledge of how to look after people. So she's, she's done extremely well, extremely well, very proud of her. It's been my uh, privilege to work with Cheryl Griffiths for the past 11 years while I've been a consultant in Wrexham. I've always been impressed by Cheryl's exemplary standards when it comes to, to nursing, her ability to cope with stressful situations and her great ability to lead from the front. Nursing, as we all know, is about many things. Some, unfortunately, are increasingly overlooked and forgotten in the modern and very hectic NHS. But one thing we can never ever lose is compassion. You can be in the most hopeless of situations with a patient. You may have nothing to offer them but your compassion. And I think that Cheryl is an absolute model of that balance between professionalism, efficiency and compassion. Well, Claire is a committed and uh, well-respected member of the outpatient and nursing team. Um, she is always eager to assist her colleagues in any way and will always go the extra mile for her patients. And it's not uncommon to be met by Claire with a big smile on her face asking you how you are. So you go away thinking, well, I feel important, I feel cared for. So when Mrs Jones and her daughter approached me to say that they wanted to nominate Claire for the Patient Choice Award and their reasons, I wasn't surprised, but I was really thrilled for Claire. Um, they said they'd read the, uh, the advert in the local paper and immediately thought of Claire. They wanted to make a point that whenever they came to clinic, she always went out of her way to make them feel relaxed. She always asked them how they were, how the family was, and always a smile. They say that she always made them feel welcomed and cared for. In recognition of Mr Ramsar's enormous contribution to the safeguarding arena, specifically to that of safeguarding adults in North Wales, I would really like to dedicate this new award to mark his significant achievement. Ram has dedicated his time and passion to the important subject arena and together with his knowledge and expertise he has most definitely supported me to increase the profile and the importance of protecting vulnerable adults whilst in our care. This new award will be known as the Ramazur Safeguarding Award and will continue to celebrate and recognise the hard work and commitment of our colleagues who have excelled in their activities and the care they provide to safeguard children, young people and adults who access our services in the future. It's an extremely important award to dedicate to Mr Ramasur due to his inspirational professionalism of which we should all aspire. I've nominated Audrey for the Lifetime Achievement Award because um, she's the most dedicated person I have ever known um, in my 48 years of nursing. She's so caring. Um, her communication with the patients is outstanding. Um, she treats them with dignity and respect as though they're her own family. Um, she's an amazing person. She is, has so much energy. Um, work so hard, very hard working. Um, during the 28 years I've known Audrey, um, it's been a real privilege to work with her. Um, staff have often commented that one day Audrey will get a gold star, but what better achievement um, could she have with this Lifetime Achievement Award? Because to me it's higher than a gold star, it's recognising her. And um, congratulations to all I'm sure you'll agree with me that that was just the most rewarding filming to watch, uh, which showed our staff at their very best. Those are our award winners. Our nurses, midwives, health visitors and healthcare support workers who give the very highest standards of care every day, every night and throughout the year. And I'm very proud of every one of our staff and I'm sure you'll agree with me that we've had a wonderful day today, 
we've had a great opportunity again to celebrate our profession but most importantly to celebrate the care that we are involved in delivering all the time to the population of North Wales. So thank you all.